we are going to do a lab for load balancing. So I just wanted to give you an overview of what load balancing is before you get into the lab. This is how the infrastructure generally looks like. So you've got the internet gateway, you've got the listener, you've got a load balancer which is on the public subnet. Traffic is ingressed here to the load balancer and the load balancer distributes the traffic to the private web server. This is what we are going to do. And generally, you've got Internet Gateway, you've got a virtual cloud network. We've learned about all that. A dynamic gateway is to connect to your virtual cloud. You do that from your on-site data center through IPsec VPN, your customer premises equipment, and your data center. So this is how an infrastructure looks like. So we are going to start out with Internet Gateway. This Internet Gateway, the virtual cloud network, this is what we are going to create initially. Now, in the past, we have created the VCN with all the resources, with the subnet. Uh, in order to secure this uh, infrastructure, this is the right way to do it. You create a VCN and add your subnets and security list and route tables so you can allow the applications which need to access. So that's how we'll start out. Uh, then uh, what we'll do is in that VCN, we will create a two subnet, private subnet. This is where we are going to have, they are going to be in two different availability domains, and this is our web server. So what we are going to do is we will create this web server and we will install Apache HTTP server running on those, and we'll open up the firewall rules so the HTTP traffic can be allowed. So this is what we are going to start out. And with this, when we create this uh, two subnet, there are default security list and route tables generally created, which we know. We will create an internet gateway. After the VCN is created, we will have the subnets, two private subnets, internet gateway, two virtual machines, and two security list, which are created when we created the subnet. After that, we will add two public subnets. And for that, we will add also one security list, which will be used by both the subnets, and one route table, again, used by both the subnets. So that's what we'll do in the uh, second leg of the lab. Then we are going to add a load balancer. So this public subnet are created just for the load balancer. So the traffic which uh, comes in here stays to the public subnet only and does not go through to the private subnet for security reason. So we will create a load balancer for that and we'll create a security list and a route table when we create the two public subnets. Then we'll create a backend set. What it means is it takes the load balancer and makes this two ser web servers as a backend set where the traffic will be directed to from the load balancer. So when we add the backend set in the background, the security list automatically updated. You will see that in the exercise. Then we'll add the listener. So the listener, which checks for the connection request from the internet, and it listens to a traffic coming in. It listens to a certain port. In our case, would be port 80. And then it will uh, direct the traffic depending on the load, which server, server 1 or server 2, how much load they have. According to that, it will direct that load to that server. 